Hey guys, um, coming to you, this is your girl Nick, just giving you an update on what's going on in my life. Uh, this video is going to be about um, an update on my third week of Vyvanse for the treatment of my binge eating disorder, as well as um, how my follow-up endocrinology um, visit went. So first off, I've been on Vyvanse for three weeks dealing with my, for the treatment of my binge eating disorder. Um, been doing fairly well on it. Again, just had some initial insomnia for the first 24 hours. Um, but other than that, I've been tolerating it really well. Um, I have lost two dates. Um, I lost two pounds since last week um, for a total of 20 pounds since mid-October. I am also doing a 1200 calorie diet that I'm working with a nutritionist on. Um, so the combination of the 1200 calorie diet, uh, in addition to um, just adding on the Vyvanse to treat the binge eating disorder, um, has really made a difference. Um, I definitely will be talking to my nutritionist again, though, uh, about how we can tweak things. Uh, I want to talk to her about kind of focusing on the quality of the food that I eat. I've just been focusing on the calorie count and that's it, um, but not really paying attention to the quality of the food that I'm eating. So I want to, that's going to be the next step um, is to look into, you know, making sure I'm getting more nutritious, well-balanced meals versus just focusing on 1,200 calories and that's it for the day. Uh, additionally, so I saw my endocrinologist for the second time today. It's for my three-month follow-up. Um, to give you some background, I met her for the first time mid-October. Um, and I didn't really like her. She's very, um, talks down to you. And, you know, my first visit, she's like, I want you to lose 12 pounds. And it just basically laid into me for 45 minutes straight on how I'm living my life wrong. Um, she also got in my personal space. So I, you know, I was getting a little defensive, getting a little agitated with that. I just really didn't come away with a good feeling for her. Um, and I've, I go to a lot of doctors. I have a lot of specialists, um, I'm also in the medical community myself, so I do have high expectations of my providers, and she just did not meet them. Um, so I went today for my three-month follow-up. Um, luckily, my husband was able to come with me um, for to get input, um, any questions he had, um, and really just for him to see what I was talking about with how she is. Um, so I had my visit. Um, she was really, really hyper-focused on the 1,200-calorie diet, as is if it's a bad thing. I did clarify with her and tell her, you know, I'm working with a nutritionist on this. Um, it's not something that I just came up with on my own. She was really hyper-focused on that. Um, and then I didn't like, when she weighed me, um, I know I have my issues about uh, body images and about um, my weight in general. I know I have a lot of issues with my weight, but when she weighed me, I didn't like how, she, you know, she did the old medical, you know, medical scale where you slide the bar at the bottom and then you slide the bar at the top and when it gets in the middle, that's your weight. And she put it to, um, currently 227, she put it to 227, just a hair past 227. And then she goes, oh, you're 228. And I'm looking at the scale like, that's not what the scale says. It's 227. But I didn't say anything to her because I was already defensive going into the office today. I didn't want to um, go end up getting mad and going off on her or she hawking out is what I call it um, and end up walking out of the office. I have done that before per, for a provider, for a family member. Um, so I just let it slide. I didn't like that. Um, she is ordering repeat lab works for me for like my hemoglobin A1C. Uh, which tells you kind of a 90-day picture of how well your blood sugar has been controlled. Um, she's checking some vitamin levels because with the um, metformin that she put me on, I've been experiencing some nausea, some stomach pain, um, and constant diarrhea. I know it's a little TMI, but that's what's been happening since I've been on the metformin. And I was explaining to her, you know, these side effects never went away. They've been going on pretty much every day for the past three months. Um, so she wanted to check some vitamin levels. She did tell me to stop the metformin because of the side effects. Um, so I'm pretty much left to just diet and exercise to manage my high insulin levels. Um, I do not have diabetes as of yet. It's just high insulin levels. So it's kind of like a precursor to pre-diabetic uh, diabetes. 
Um, and then the thing that really, that really annoyed me was she didn't say anything about my weight. She asked me to lose 12 pounds in three months. Um, since I saw her, I lost 17 pounds and she didn't say anything about weight, you know, not just like, oh good, you know, you've lost some weight. She didn't even acknowledge that I lost weight. She was just like, you're 227 or 228 is what she said. And then that was it. So that was a little discouraging as well. Um, so that just confirmed that I will not be going back to see her, um, working on trying to find a new endocrinologist, someone that's more personable, that's easy to approach and is motivating in getting you to be healthier and take, you know, take better care of yourself versus someone like her who's very condescending um, and talks down to you about your medical stuff. Um, so that is really just an update. Oh, additionally, about the Vivance. Um, so I did see my nurse practitioner last week for a check-in with the Vivance, um, and we decided to increase the Vivance because the starting dose overall is 30 milligrams, which is what I've been on, um, but the starting dose for actual therapeutic levels for the uh, Vivance is 50 milligrams. So we increased it to 50 milligrams, which I took my first dose of that today. Um, so far, I've been doing very well. I've noticed I've had more of a dry mouth today with the higher dose. And for a couple seconds, I had like the teeniest, tiniest little bit of um, heart palpitations with it, but it went away immediately and it was only for a couple seconds. So I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, we'll see how I sleep tonight. Um, hopefully, I don't really have any insomnia with the increased dose. But so far, that's what's been going on. So I will check in with you guys probably next week give you another update and I hope everybody's doing well. Have a good day, everybody.